There's a few extra things that you need for slip or sock casting. Bags go over the patient's foot. If you don't, the foot will be very sticky and it will actually stay on there for a good few days. Um, always wear an apron. Just You shouldn't get any on the clothes. It's a very um, sort of non-mess way of uh, casting but to minimise any uh, effects. I have ruined one shirt where I've just got a few flecks on that. Um, you have your cast in your Ziploc cast in this uh, bag, various different sizes from small to extra large. We can get double XL if you uh, require it, but we only really hold up to extra large. A set of gloves and then a bowl of water. Um, because resin has an exothermic reaction anyway, it doesn't have to be hot like uh, casting water, but it's better with a bit of uh, warmth for the patient as well as um, for setting reasons. So once you're prepared, put your gloves on. I like to get the patient lying on their front, so if you like to lie on the front, uh, pop your legs over the end. I've covered the floor with newspaper um, just to protect it more than anything. As I've said, you shouldn't get too much mess anywhere. Um, it will protect things a little bit. Place the bag over the patient's foot. Bring your bowl a bit closer so you don't have to stretch so far. Gloves on, a clip. This helps hold the sock onto the foot. It will clip around the dorsum of the foot, starting with the medial to lateral, just from the high point of the arch, clip it onto the foot. Open the bag. Inside the bag, you'll have two rolls of um, of the socks wrapped up in cling film. Unroll the sock. Open open it out slightly. It will be tacky. As you can see, it's just sort of like a sports sock sock type shape. Dunk it in the water. Make sure you don't fill up the inside of it. Wring it out slightly. This is where you need to act fairly quickly. Put it over the uh, toes first. Put it on quite hard. Good toes, isn't it? Put it over. Grab your clip. Start with the medial side, midpoint of the arch. Stretch over. Lateral side. That holds it on. If you don't think you've got enough, enough height, pull it up. Lateral side. Hold the fourth and fifth. Find your neutral. Dorsal flex the foot slightly and hold. Now at this point, you might want to rub it slightly without altering the, chain, the position of the foot. It's where you may need to check sizes um, and make sure the size is right. If you haven't got the right size or you don't feel it's um, holding the foot in the right position, then you might want to start again. Making sure your thumb is only over the fourth and fifth, a bit like you would with plaster of Paris, and hold it in that position. Feeling the uh, sock now, it's um, giving out a bit of heat. Can you feel mm -hmm. the heat, Julian? And it starts to set. Now, what you want to do is give it a little flick, and when you start it, feel that hollow sound, give it a feel. When it stops becoming tacky and sticky, then you'll be able to remove it. We're pretty much there, I'll just give it a couple more seconds. Press it, if it goes back to the same position, then you're uh, pretty much set. Move your hand, take off the clip, remove like you would a normal cast. And then we're done. Wow.